Excuse me, kitty. Ooh. Hello, girls and boys. As you can see, I am here with a cat. Her name is Latte, and this is Pet Week, so I will be doing the pet tag with her. I do have a lot of other cats, though, but this is by far the most friendly. <laughs> First question, what is your pet's name? This cat's name is Latte. Latte. Okay, okay. Hey, cooperate with me. Anyway, the second question is what kind of breed is your pet? Um, my cat is a mutt. We don't really know exactly what she is, but we believe that she is some sort of mixture of a snowshoe cat because that's what she looks like. She looks like a snowshoe cat. The third question is how long have you had your pet? And I have had my cat for I think like eight years. I got her when I was in the fourth grade. So I think I was like eight or nine. Oh my gosh, I think we've had her for almost 10 years. How did you get your pet? I got my cat because a friend of my mom's, um, their cat had a bunch of baby kitties and they didn't know what to do with them. So we took two, two of them. So I have Latte and then her sister, whose name is Yuki, who refuses to be in this video because she just doesn't like to cooperate. Number five is how old is your pet? And I kind of already answered this. She's eight years old because we got her when she was a little baby. Number six, what are some quirky things about your cat's personality? And something that's really weird about my cat is she when she is really lonely, um, she drags socks and stuffed animals around the house. My cat is an indoor cat, so my cat does not kill birds or mice. So instead, I think that she thinks that stuffed animals are actual animals and she brings them to us and drags them down the hallway in her mouth and then leaves them at our feet, which is weird, but it's cute. It's really adorable. <laughs> Number seven, what does your pet's relationship mean to you? I would say my relationship with my pet means a lot to me because I basically grew up with her. I've had her for a very, very long time. And whenever I am sad or upset, I feel like she can kind of tell. And she like comes over to me and she's like, Lindsay, Lindsay, what's wrong? And then she like rubs her face on me. And it's just, it's so, so, so cute. And when she was a baby, she was actually the runt of the litter. So she was really, really small. And so, for some reason, I think she had separation anxiety from her mom when we first got her. So she would actually like pretend to suckle, you know, like when you drink the milk from your mama, you know, she would pretend to suckle on like my fingers, which I, was so, so, so cute. So basically I look at my cat as my child, if that makes any sense or if that's kind of weird but I don't know I look at her as my baby and even though she's an old cat now she's an old ass lady I still think of her as a kitty little baby kitten so cute number eight what are your favorite pastimes with your pet I would say my favorite pastimes are when I if I sleep in in the mornings sometimes my cat like she likes to sleep with me. And so she will be on like this part of my bed and I will be on the other part. And it's basically like I'm sleeping and then she's like right across from me, like looking at me. So it's, it's so cute. Cause we're like laying in bed together and I'll be sleeping and then she'll be sleeping like right there, right across from me, right next to me. And we'll be like facing each other. And I don't know, it's just so cute. And I love it. I love it when she does that. And last but not least, what are some nicknames you like to call your cat? Well, I call call my cat a lot of really weird names that don't really make sense. I call her Monkey, even though she's not a monkey. If you like this video, give it a like and comment down below if you have any pat pats. If you have any pets, if you have any pets, that's what I was trying to say. If you do have any pets, go ahead and tell me their names and what kind of animal they are. Are they a cat, a dog, a parrot, a bunny? 
what are they? And don't forget, subscribe to be notified the next time we here on Girls and Boys make a video. And if you would like to see me make videos every single week, then you can go subscribe to my main channel down below. As always, I am Lindsay, Fridays here on Girls and Boys, and that's it. Bye!